What's up guys, Wacky Cube with another Marvel Strike Force video and in this video we are back for another ultimate Marvel Strike Force tier list of the characters you should be investing in and the characters that you should hold back in terms of investment. This is going to cover the best characters for all game modes but also Cosmic Crucible, Alliance Wars and Raids which is the characters that you should be investing the most, which is the characters that you should be investing less and which are the characters that you should be skipping at all this is going to be from a perspective of someone that is at the tip of the spear in terms of all the game mods together with my alliance and uh, if you want to be successful in the game if you want to be competitive it's going to be important that uh, you don't uh, throw your resources on characters from yesteryear characters that no longer have meta relevance in the meta or characters that uh, are just not important as they once were so we're going to talk about all of that we're going to take a look at uh, the latest tier list i'm going to break down how it works and how you should follow it and as always if you like the information on these videos make sure to share these videos with your friends on facebook and discord if you're new to my channel make sure to subscribe for more mouse force content and make sure to smash that like button like a boss okay so in the game you can see already the characters i have been working on this is the newest characters and then we have all the characters in terms of uh, power and uh, the tier list that we're going to take a look at we, it's also going to follow this so there will be characters that you want to get up uh, to get the 17 plus and there are characters that you want to get up uh, to get the 15 plus so even at uh, right now at the meta you can have characters like uh, dark Hawk that are just uh, good enough at gear t15 and then you just have to balance with the level to see how much you need in terms of levels to keep him alive because that's all they are good for is just staying alive and do their one or two abilities that matter okay so let's jump into the tier list this is not your typical tier list as you can see it's divided on different sections and these sections are going to be the different game modes so you have the characters that are important in all game modes at the top then you have the characters that you need for apocalypse unlock and in my opinion they are in order of importance so the characters that are at the left and at the top are more important than the characters that are at the right and at the bottom so like i was saying we have the different types of gear then we have raids we have alliance wars offense and defense in pink or purple or violet whatever you want to call these then we have the cosmic crucible specific characters and we also have general purpose characters and characters that were very recently in the meta but no longer are so once again this is not the typical tier list where just going from the top to the bottom is going to tell you right away the best characters it has different sections and that section is a tier list on itself so keep that in mind I'm not saying that the the for example the red characters here are more important than the Cosmic Crucible characters because once again they are all the same importance it's just the game mode that is different and uh, then you have to decide for yourself which is the most important game mode for you if it's Raids, Alliance Wars or Cosmic Crucible okay so with this said let's take a look at the tier list of course at the top you're going to have the three most important mythical characters we're going to have Mephisto, Super Scrawler and Apocalypse in terms of general purpose use that you can safely get up uh, but this is also going to depend on the amount of yellow stars and red stars that you have on them these characters you are uh, at least comfortable i would say comfortable to put uh, uh, red stars on them diamonds it's something that you have to decide on yourself especially these two Cersei and um, quicksilver as they're they're okay with better uh, red stars and diamonds but uh, they are definitely not a priority right away but in general purpose we have Dormammu, we have Icarus, Cersei and the Quicksilver now in this section we have uh, the characters that are required to unlock Apocalypse and to make Apocalypse empowered but uh, some of these characters are not like others right so the characters that we have at the top they are definitely more important you can safely invest in them and the characters that are at the bottom investing on them right now might be a mistake it might not be like relevant enough so once again keep this in mind that each section is a tier list on itself and the characters from the left are more important than the characters on the right 
and the characters at the top are more important than the characters at the bottom. So at the top we have Gambit Castle, we have Spider Weaver, Rogue, Morgan Le Fay and Red Hulk. Three of them are horseman characters, the other ones are important in multiple teams, in multiple game modes, and that's why they are at the top. And then at the bottom we have uh, the rest, which you can still invest on them, like it says gear T16 plus, this plus means that, yes, they are good at gear T16, but if you want to invest more on them, that's fine, that goes for example for uh, Deadpool, that goes also for, uh, for Hulk, for Dazzler. You can still invest more on them. What I'm saying is that the base level is going to be year T16, and that's the order that you should follow. Now, in terms of the raids, we have uh, a lot of news in terms of uh, the importance on the game modes. For Extreme X-Men, Nightcrawler and Forge are still the most important characters. In terms of Hive Mind, they go up in terms of value because of uh, the different game modes where we are using them. Alliance Wars, Cosmic Crucible, Braids, of course. So right now, in terms of value, they are higher. And uh, the Red Goblin and the Gwenom are very, very important. Especially Gwenom, as she has combos with the Spider Society. This is something that people are not paying attention. But you can pair up Gwenom with Spider Society and make some interesting combos for sure. Then we have uh, the Pegasus team with Iron Man Infinity War and Rescue. Spider-Man War is now not only a Cosmic Crucible character, but also a Raid character. He also has some functions in Alliance Wars, so definitely safe to invest on them. And then we have Val and Beta Ray Bill as the best Bifrost characters, and the characters that uh, might keep having value in the future, even after Bifrost uh, ends. Then uh, at the bottom, Gear T15 and above, these are characters that you're going to use them for their passives, characters that you're going to use for very specific, specific abilities. And once again, you can gear them up more, but at least you want to make sure that they are at Gear T15 and, for example, level 90 or level 95, as that is uh, usually a good range for them without having extra gear. So Sunspot, Cyclops, the other I've mind characters. Void Knight is a little bit overrated in the community. People think they are very, very good, but it's actually not that good in terms of overall usage. Then we have uh, the Spider Society, the newest characters, at least for now, we'll keep them at gear tier 15, unlock the full team, and then you decide how much you want to invest in them. But once again, like we were talking with Gwenom, they have some Spider Society, they have Spider Society tags, but also Hero Spider-Verse tags. That means that they have some additional value in the future if you are mixing them with the Tangle Web or with some other Hero Spider-Verse characters. So keep this in mind, might be important in the future. Then we have uh, the Pegasus team. These characters, like I was saying, Gear 15 is fine for them. And then we have the last Bifrost. These three characters, you really don't want to overinvest on them. This is a huge trap for new players. And uh, a lot of content creators like to say like, oh, Bifrost is amazing. Not really. So be careful with this because this is a huge trap. Now, in terms of Alliance Wars, we have all the characters here that matter right now for Alliance Wars, defense and offense. Uh, there are some uh, exceptions that are outside of this part, but these are probably the most important characters. So you have uh, the out of time uh, team with the Black Knight uh, and with Cosmic Ghost Rider. Uh, apart from Black Knight, uh, Cosmic Ghost Rider is the second character that deals the most damage. Star Brand can also be somewhat uh, useful at uh, a decent size, but it's just too slow to be significant. Uh, these characters are still not farmable, so be careful with your, uh, with your overinvestment. They're also going to be required for a legendary, but we don't know for sure when this legendary is coming and what type of event it's going to be. So uh, wait uh, or invest on these two, but the other ones we're going to hold up for a while. Now, in terms of Sinister Six, Superior Six, all these characters that you see right here at the top, uh, you should invest on them. Even Mysterio, yes, probably Mysterio. Uh, you should uh, really invest big in him as he's very important for many counters. Alliance Wars in Cosmic Crucible, Spider Slayer, Lizard, Craven, Vulture, and Green Goblin Classic. All these characters are extremely important. Now, in terms of uh, Nowhere Team, Nova and Thor, extremely important. Underworld, this is a team that might be important uh, this week for the escape from Kalne. And these are the two most important characters, the Taskmaster and the Kingpin. Then we have uh, the Secret Defenders with uh, Black Cat, uh, Robbie Reyes, Ghost Rider, and Photon. Then we have Jessica Jones. Jessica Jones is very important for uh, uh, the A-Force team. Then we have Tigra, 
New Avengers, and then we have Undying and Omega Red for their respective teams. Now, in terms of Gear Tier 15, we have uh, everyone else that is part of the teams we already mentioned. So here we have uh, the Out of Time. These characters are okay, we just need them to stay alive. The same goes for the New Avengers. These characters are okay, you just want them to stay alive. Nowhere Team, same thing, A-Force. The same thing, some of these characters on A-Force can do some significant damage or significant negative effects. And this is why it's important to say, like, what? Gear T15 Plus. So, yeah, sure, you need to have them at Gear T15 at least for them to work. But then you want to gear them up as you use them against stronger and stronger teams. So, keep this in mind. Lady Electro, Dr. Octopus, the other Sinister Six. You can make two full teams out of the Sinister Six and you can mix them around. So it's 10 characters, but you can make like six different teams depending on the enemies that you're facing. Weapon X right now, they are a little, a little bit falling off. So we'll see. They are still okay in Alliance Wars, but in this current meta of Alliance Wars, the turmoil something, the like the season of Alliance Wars, they are a little bit weaker than before. Underworld still very strong, but like I said, you only need the Taskmaster and Kingpin. And then we have Wakanda. The Wakanda, I'm, I'm a little bit uh, conflicted about this. On the last video that we did similar to this one, I kept the War Dogs at uh, GT17, but man, this team has disappointed me a lot in the last... Uh, uh, two months and this is where this is for cosmic crucible and alliance wars it seems like anyone destroys wakanda and uh, and they are still not the the team that they should be like uh, one team that this is this iconic they should be doing a lot more and not getting crushed by like gear tier 16 uh, infinity watch like it happened to me so my team is gear tier 17 and 18 and they got demolished by gear tier 16 infinity watch and uh, I, I'm not sure, like Wakanda is always a, a problematic team in terms of investment. So watch out, you might need them for the Gamma Raids or something like that. But be careful with the uh, with investment on them, as many times they, they are just not good enough in, uh, in Alliance Wars and Cosmic Crucible. And finally, we have the War Defensive Meta. These are the only characters that uh, get some value in Alliance Wars defense, but you don't really need to overinvest on them because even at a low size, they can create a lot of problems. And uh, right now we don't have any game mode apart from Alliance Wars defense where they have some value. This is a quite a big problem and I wish that Scopely would address this, make sure that the Alliance Wars defense characters would be a little bit more impactful elsewhere. Uh, so watch out, gear them up to gear tier 12 and then invest on them if you want, but it's not a big deal. Moving on to Cosmic Crucible, we have uh, the top characters right now. We still have Kang, Kang is not going anywhere. We still have Firestar. Firestar is another character that is Spider-Verse hero. So you could uh, use her together with uh, Tangle Web or with the uh, Ghost Spider or uh, with uh, the Spider Gwenum, Void Knight. So this might be combos that we see in the future. And then we have Cabal. Cabal, I made a video about Cabal. You can invest in Cabal for their kit or for their stats. If you gear them up for their stats, they are amazing. If you gear them up for their kits, as long as you're pairing them up with the other important characters, they are great as well. But I would definitely invest on them as uh, they become very, very strong with, uh, with a decent amount of gear. Then we have the other Cosmic Crucible characters that uh, are somewhat important. Also, again, remember that this is Gear 15 Plus, but if you invest more on them, of course, it's going to be better. We have Ultron, we have uh, Gwenpool, Titania, Absorbing Man, Cloak and Dagger, they don't really need a lot of investment right now. And the Alliance Wars season that we have greatly benefits the new warriors. So we are having some extra value right here using these characters on those game modes as well. But once again, gear T15 is enough to start and then you can gear them up to as much as you want. Okay, general purpose characters, we have Infinity Watch and Black Order. Black Order is another team that uh, is having a lot of value again, but uh, this is seasonal value. So right now they are okay to use in Alliance Wars, Cosmic Crucible and so on, but uh, it's, it might not be the same next month, right? So be careful. 
these are okay characters to invest but it's not something that you should rush for it's just something that uh, it has a sin cost fallacy that yes you can get some value of them but not all the time so are they a better investment than uh, war dogs <laughs> and wakanda maybe maybe that, that's something you guys let me know in the comments below if you rather invest on black card and infinity watch than on uh, on war dogs then we have a sporadically useful value these are characters that uh, on specific matches you want to use them sometimes it's important dr doom uh, you don't want to over invest on these characters that's why we have gear tier 14 and above you really have to be careful with how much you invest on them because if you invest too much they might lose the value that, that they have and this is going to be for dr doom for sure phoenix right now she got the rework she was very very powerful and uh, she has a lot more useful i i use a lot of phoenix together with undying i think it's a great combo echo emma frost those are characters that on specific matches specific rooms in cosmic crucible are extremely important and then we have minerva captain sam the pre-taunting tanks red guardian bishop we have cable for the speed hawkeye for the turning wind the, uh, the baron zima for the ability block more pre-taunts more ability blocks more stuns and energy generation once again gear tier 14 is enough because you need only need them for like one ability and that's pretty much it and then we have the dead meta characters that uh, are on the death row characters that you should not invest at all and this is going to be the invaders in young avengers marauders we have uh, the dark hunters also supernatural we also have uh, some of the other what kind of characters that we should not touch ravagers and then we have uh, the x-men so a few x-men got rework jubilee kitty pride colossus and x-23 these are characters that uh, they look good on paper but in actuality they are not that good and we are still looking for a specific way or reason to use them and uh, one or two months have passed since they rework and we still don't have uh, any place where to use them so with phoenix i'm using phoenix on cosmic crucible and alliance wars weekly these characters here with the reworks not really and the other uncanny characters that didn't even got a rework not really as well Asian Venom and Mighty Thor, these are characters that, once again, you, you might be able to use, but only if you invest on in the past, otherwise it's not even worth investing on them. And this is going to be the list, guys. So these are the best characters that you can use right now in April of 2024. Best characters in Marvel Strike Force for you to invest and for you to use if you want to be successful in all the game modes so i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did make sure to smash that like button and if you found the video helpful make sure to share it with your friends on facebook and discord if you're new to my channel make sure to subscribe for more mouse strike force content and i'll catch you guys later